Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am filming the Dyson Supersonic comparison video. And what I am comparing is the regular consumer version versus the professional version. So let's get started. start let's talk about the consumer version i already have a full video dedicated on this hair dryer but we do need to know the specs of this before we talk about the other one the dyson supersonic hair dryer is engineered to protect hair from extreme heat damage with fastest drying and controlled styling to help increase smoothness by 75 percent increase shine by up to 132 percent and decrease frizz and flyaways by up to 61%. The Dyson Digital Motor V9 spins up to 110,000 RPM, propelling 13 liters of air up to the amplifier every second. An intelligent heat control measures airflow temperature over 40 times to prevent extreme heat damage. The cable length is nine feet. There are three speed settings, four heat settings, and a cold shot. And as far as the airflow and heat goes, I usually do low heat and low airflow because the consumer version does get very, very hot very quickly. There's pros and cons to it being super hot. It's great because it ends up drying a little bit faster, but when you are using excess heat that you don't need to be using and there's no lower setting to make it a more bearable temperature, you're kind of stuck regardless. And yes, there is a cool shot button and a way to turn the heat off completely but then you don't have any heat and also it's very loud i know everyone talks about how quiet the dyson is and they are considering that your average blow dryer is extremely loud and sounds like you're gonna blow out your eardrum Compared to that, this is a lot quieter, but it still is something that annoys me and makes me not want to reach for this one because of that. So I timed myself and it took me about 10 minutes. And in the clip, I showed you that I did have to adjust the heat quite often because it would get really hot and then I would turn it to no heat at all and then I would feel like it wasn't really drying quite as fast, so then I'd put it back to the lowest heat setting and I would go back and forth and back and forth. Just because that's how I like to do it so that I know that my hair isn't getting damaged. Moving on to the professional version. Key features exclusive to the professional edition include two improvised filters that are magnetic, removable, and washable a longer 11 foot cable for freer movement when styling clients. At the heart of the Dyson Supersonic is the latest Dyson Digital Motor V9. It spins three times faster than conventional motors at over 110,000 revolutions per minute. So when I did the other half of my hair with this one, I knew that I could use this one on the lowest heat setting and the medium airflow and be completely fine. This one, I did not have to mess around with it. I just turned it on, turned it to the settings that I knew that I wanted and went on my way. This one also just feels more comfortable when you're holding it up as well and it's not as loud. which part of that is because this filter is slightly different than the one on the consumer version. It seems like it's a little bit more mesh versus 
metal. But as far as the noise, this one is so, so quiet. Even if I put it up to the highest airflow, you're not going to get that super loud, droning, annoying noise. And even when I am drying my client's hair and have it turned all the way up, I can still have a conversation with them, which I really appreciate. So as far as performance and time for this one, it took me a few minutes less to dry my hair with this one than it did with the consumer version. Yes, I was able to have the heat on the whole time and also a slightly higher airflow, which does contribute to faster drying time. So as far as which one's better or worse, there's not really a better or worse. There's just difference in performance and difference in small things like the amount of heat and the noise that comes from them. So if I could pick one, I obviously would choose my professional one, but not everyone can buy this one. So do I recommend this one? Absolutely. You just have to know how to use it and know that it is gonna still give you amazing results. Even though it gets pretty hot, there are ways to combat that. Like I said, you can turn the heat setting all the way off and then turn it back on after a few minutes. Or if you aren't quite as sensitive to heat, just know that the amount of heat that you put on your hair, even with an amazing hair dryer like this one, you still wanna be careful because any heat can do some damage. So for professionals, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to buy this. It feels so comfortable in your hand that you don't even think about it being there. I know there's been so many people wanting to try out any of the Dyson products and yes, they are expensive. When anyone brings up the fact that I have a Dyson, I promote it hardcore because I truly do believe in the Dyson company and I love what they are doing in the hair industry right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have additional questions or comments, leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.